YouTube, welcome back to the channel, man. Hope y'all are taking care of yourselves out there. We're already halfway through January. Time is just going by right now, man. It needs to slow down. Let us all catch up a little bit. Today, I wanted to talk to y'all about Nahil's Obliette, I believe is how you pronounce it, and his key to enter the Obliette as well. Both of these you can get from Nightwave credit offerings. The decoration you can see is right next to the Syndicate console, right over Ash's left shoulder with the blue diamond on top. The key to enter this decoration can also be purchased from Nightwave. If you enjoyed this content or if this video helped you, please like and subscribe down below. I won't keep you all too long, man. Enjoy the rest of the video. Nahil's Oubliette can be purchased for 60 Nightwave credits within the credit offerings. And the key can also be purchased for 60 Nightwave credits in the offerings, and it can also be traded between players. These keys go for about anywhere from 50 to over 100 Platinum, but keep in mind you can also purchase from other players. The decoration you can place in your orbiter, the key itself, once you purchase it, will grant you access by interacting with this decoration. So a little bit about this boss fight, it is a solo boss fight. Your loadout will not matter because weapons and abilities are disabled, but you could mod yourself to have more speed or more parkour velocity, whatever you feel is necessary. You look like Mary Poppins. Is he cool? Hell yeah, he's cool. I'm very popping, y'all! This boss fight consists of glass platforms that you will have to jump from one to the other. The hill will shoot glass shards and attack you with his sword, one-shotting you if you get hit. With these glass shards that he will shoot from his head, on hit, you will slow down tremendously. It'll, it'll actually turn you into glass and you will freeze a little bit. Not completely, but you will slow down at a tremendous rate. If he misses, which you should be trying to avoid them, you can pick up these glass shards and throw them at the diamonds around the map. Nahil will also have two sword attacks. He has a low sweeping animation and an overhead animation that will break the glass platforms, making it more difficult to be mobile and evasive. If you can recognize these attacks on time, you want to jump the low and bullet jump to another platform to avoid the overhead. I do want to reiterate this, Nahil's attacks will kill you in one touch no matter how much health, armor, or shields that you have. If you lose the fight entirely, you can reuse the key until you defeat him. I think that's a really big point because I didn't know that until I started to make this video. Um, I figured once I used the key, that was it. So if I died, I was just not going to get another chance. Once you've hit enough of the glass diamonds with glass shards or the right one, Nahil can then take damage. Once he is susceptible to damage, the diamonds around the map will disappear and you can toss the glass shards at him directly. A bit of aiming is going to be required for this as they are incredibly slow and have an arc when throwing them, so make sure to give yourself the best positioning possible before you toss these glass shards. Once he takes enough damage, it'll move on to the next wave of the boss fight. There are three waves of this fight. On the second wave, he will begin to teleport, and on the third wave, he will also teleport more often, but will also toss more glass shards at you. Once you defeat Nahil, you will be awarded a Riven mod, which is a 20% chance between all the separate ones, you know, rifle, pistol, melee, Zaw, and kit gun. And for the first time players to defeat him, you will also be given a Vitrica Greatsword Blueprint that you can find in your foundry. The Vitrica Sword will need 15 Oricon Cells, 925 Oxium, 60 Tempered Baphylite, and 10 Purified Hesaphron. If you're unsure where to get the Baphylite and the Hesaphron, all you want to do is go to the Necrolis, pause the game, go to Fast Travel, and go to OTAC. And once you go to OTAC, just go to Browse Wares, and as you can see right here, Tempered Baphylite Blueprint. You can buy that for a thousand standing, and the Purified Hesaphron as well, two thousand standing. If you don't have standing, which is where I'm at right now, you can pause the game, Fast Travel, and go to Grandmother. Once you go to Grandmother, you want to go down to Trade Tokens for Entrati Standing. Now, obviously, you can get standing from trading in gems and minerals that you've mined. You can also just do regular bounties and get standing as well. But if you're like me, where you have, like, thousands of some of these tokens, you can just click on that token. For me, it's going to be the Mother Token, and I'm just going to give 275, which is going to give me 27,500 standing, which I need to rank up with the Entrati anyway. Then go back to Fast Travel, go to OTAC, go back to Browse Wares, and now you can buy your Tempered Baphylite Blueprint for 1,000 standing, and the Purified Hesaphron for 2,000 standing. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how you defeat Nahil. That's how you access the boss fight and how you get those blueprints to build those minerals to build the great sword, the Vitrica, and get a free ribbon mod out of it. If this is your first time here, 
go look around all the videos on this channel. There's a ton of different beginner, intermediate, and expert level videos all around this channel. I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch the video. I hope it helps you. Until the next video, man, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.